Nearly six years after a tornado devastated Pratt City, the city has opened a new place for families to stay safe during severe weather. It's a community storm shelter there. And many say it's been a long time coming. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey is live at CBS 42 on deck covering Pratt City where people are excited about this new shelter. They are. They vividly remember the destruction from the 2011 tornadoes. They tell me they never want to experience anything like that again. We saw the news and they were like, it turned and it's headed to Pratt City. You got 15 minutes and after 15 minutes, it, I mean, the lights went out. Michelle Perkins, the current president of the North Pratt Neighborhood Association, vividly remembers the tornado that destroyed her neighborhood. Her aunt died in the storm. We could hear the house tearing up. Everybody said, listen for a train. That was no train. It was the most horrific, awful sound, I, like monsters were bamming on your door. Wilma Neighbors remembers it too, and she believes it's only a matter of time before there's another. Once you're in one, every time you hear, take shelter, you wonder where am I going? So she's thankful she doesn't have to wonder anymore. I can't even say how happy I am. One, two, three. The city of Birmingham cut the ribbon on a new storm shelter in Pratt City today, and more shelters are on the way. We are very fortunate across the county that we have other community storm shelters also open. Coker said a shelter also opened in Concord yesterday, and the state has approved using FEMA dollars to build another eight across the county. We are much better prepared. Everybody that I've talked to, we all have the same feeling. We don't want to lose any more lives. And these shelters have the ability to save them. People won't have to wonder where they're going to go. This is, I mean, I'm so excited. Now, ultimately, there will be four Pratt community safe rooms. Uh, the one in Pratt City Park that you just saw, one in Jimmy Hudson Park that is also open now, one in Southampton School, and one in Smithfield Estates. Live on deck tonight, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.